Dr. George Machaskiu, founding dean and chief academic officer of the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine, says the border region was the perfect place to start a medical school because of the needs. The border region was the most underserved part of the country and that people here had disease processes and they had shortages of physicians that were similar to developing countries around the world. So I conceived of this idea for what a medical school would look like on the border because a medical school is a great way to improve a region's health care. Mitch Askew says the new school will almost immediately change the medical landscape of the Las Cruces region. It changes the nature and the character of the local hospitals, clinics, and physician populations because you have these young people who are learning, who are energetic, and who are bringing ideas to a community, and they're becoming members of the community. It's our goal for many of our students to stay permanently and sustainably in the border regions. Mitch Askew says the medical school will help the doctor shortage in the region by bringing in faculty that will practice in the region and providing more residencies. To date, 108 new residencies have been approved in the Las Cruces metro area, and he expects that number to grow. Psychiatry, for instance, by coming here, We've hired a chair of psychiatry. We've uh, brought in a whole faculty to teach clinical psychiatry. And next year, there'll be a psychiatry residency in Las Cruces. And previously, if you needed a psychiatrist in Las Cruces, well, sometimes it was on the telephone. Sometimes you, there was one. Sometimes there wasn't one. It was just hard to tell. So the medical school, by its teaching mission, has to bring in a lot of people and hire a lot of people. And that just increases the um, uh, workforce in the region immediately. Mitch Askew says they have already increased the number of New Mexicans attending osteopathic medical schools. Last year in the whole country, there were eight residents from New Mexico training at these various medical schools. This year, we have 18 residents from New Mexico starting, or 18 citizens of New Mexico starting here at BCOM. So what happened? Did we, obviously we increased the interest in osteopathic medicine. Did we take all those eight from other schools and bring them here? I think that's unlikely. I think we just sort of lifted all the boats. Debbie Moore, president and CEO of the Las Cruces Chamber of Commerce, says by increasing the quality of care in the region, more businesses will want to locate here. I can tell you it is a problem everywhere, a concern that when people move in, they want to make certain that you have good quality education, good quality medical facilities, and this Las Cruces can be a healthcare destination. And this is just, just another piece of that pie as we continue to grow that healthcare destination piece. Dr. Machaskiu says going forward, they expect the school to have a sustained economic impact of about $120 million a year. These students are all here, they have families, they're renting apartments, they're spending money, and we hope they stay as physicians. Every physician that stays in the region has an economic impact of $2 million and contributes nine new jobs to the region. So for an, a town in a region of this size, it's going to be uh, a transformative change if you look just at economic impact. Mitch Askew says when the first class graduates in 2020, they will increase the number of new physicians graduating in New Mexico by over 200%. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.